Hey everyone, what's going on? It's the Voice of an Angel. Um, I told you guys that I was going to be doing some acrylic nail tutorials and I'm just going to show you my products right now and then I'm going to be doing a regular tutorial on a practice finger, not on my finger since I already have my nails done already. Just don't want to mess with that. So, um, sorry about how far away I am from the camera. Um, I just didn't want to mess my desk up. So, um, <laughs> let's see what I can do here. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit. One, two. Okay. So, here is my awesome professional nail kit. It's my drill. Um, comes with a foot pedal. Of course, your, your gun itself, gun holder, goes like this. You put the bit in right there. Um, comes with a few bits. I need to buy some more because they're not all what I want. Um, these bits are for sanding, uh, filing down. Well, this is sanding, filing down. Um, these are just normally just to smooth out the nail, take out imperfections. These guys are to get under nails, smile lines, you know, I'll explain more later um, when I get into these tutorials. And then here's my actual, if I can get it out, it will be nice, my machine. Um, I forget how many watts it is. Oh, it's 110 volts. And it's foot powered. 60 hertz. So, um, it's professional grade. So this is your speed, left and right, oh, left and right for left-handed and right-handed people. It's not biased, so that's good. Um, this kit cost me, shoot, like 50 $60 on eBay. And it's a great kit, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So, I just don't use it as much as the salon would, that's all. Okay. So this is called Salon Edge if you guys want to look it up. I want to suggest getting this if, you know, um, if you're just going to do your nails once in a while. If you're going to be doing your nails every month, every time you need to fill, you know, just get that over with and that's that. Um, I used to have two trays of things, but then I got this little, this little thing right here, which I'll show you. This is my monomer, the one that came with my kit that I bought. Um, I don't really like it, but that's life. All these are nail, nail tips. I have to get a few more. Um, I'll be getting some stiletto nail tips, which are going to be awesome. And I can't wait to do some stiletto nails. Can't wait. Um, okay, I need to clean this out. So, we're going to... This is my other monomer nail liquid, they call. Um, it's just a regular kind, nothing special. But this is from Sally Beauty Supply, I mean. And I think it cost me like 10 to $16. Not sure, can't remember right now. Um, I have some demo nails in here, but that is not a good thing because <laughs> it's getting in my way. Here we go. Get these out. All right. I also have my nail brushes for my acrylics. They come in different sizes, as you can tell. Um, I have one professional one right here. It's a number eight. It's from Sally Hansen. Uh, Sally Hansen. Oh, yeah, no. It's Beauty Secrets. My bad. Sorry, guys. So, um, I have a bunch of 
cotton balls. I don't know why I had them in there, but they're going back. Um, I have my nail primer. It says UV gel, but on the side, there's three different options. Well, four. It's top gel primer, non-sticky top gel. So this is my nail primer, which you put on before you put the acrylic on, so it adheres to your nail. This is my nail dehydrator. This was 10 bucks as well. Um, it'll last you a long time because I I've used it like 10 times and it's still full. <laughs> uh, this is my clear acrylic, which I haven't used yet in Speedy Secrets. This cost me another 10 to 20 dollars. It's 1.3 ounces, by the way. Okay, put these monomers back. And these are my samples from Verza. Um, this is my clear acrylic powder. My French pink powder. I think I've showed you this before. My pink acrylic powder. My blush acrylic powder. And my French white for tips. And then, I guess all these. But I do need these out because I'm going to be doing a thing showing y'all. All right, and all these, this was my bad attempt of a stiletto nail. I still had to file it down and everything. It was just bad, so I'm just going to wait till I get the tips and see how that goes. All right, I need to put these in a bag or something, get them out of my way. And this little doodad is uh, $2.25 at Family Dollar. It's really good because they snap together, you know. Uh, on the top tray, I have my nail glue, super glue, just in case your nail glue doesn't want to work. I have my buffers, my um, cuticle oil, orange sticks, cuticle cutter, if you need to cut the cuticle. Not saying you do. Um, my guillotine. Um, this one sucks, I must say. I got it for like two dollars on eBay. And it gets stuck once you get it like up here. And then it creases your nail and everything. So don't buy that one. I don't know what it's called, but if it's two dollars on eBay, do not get it. Um, I have some nail clippers. I have two pairs of nail clippers. I need to get some straight nail clippers, not the moon shaped ones because um, they cause problems. So it's not a good thing. I also have a blush brush to get the crap off your nails when you're filing them um, before you put anything on your nail. Okay, what the heck is going on here? This is no BN. I had this all perfect and now I can't figure it out. I'm dumb. There we go. Um, I also have all types of <clears throat> nail files. I like the moon one because it gets into the corners. Uh, this one is good for just filing the top and sides down. That's what I usually use them for anyway. So let's try to put this crap back. This is not the easiest job in the world. <laughs> I had it all in there, as you saw. Okay, this way, that way. I think if I lay this in there like that. Okay.
There we go. That wasn't that bad. Alright, then you put the lid back on, snap that, go to the second one, take that off. Now these are more acrylics in special acrylics. Um, these are little ass ones that you could probably only do maybe 10 fingers and that's it. But um, this one has, of course, glitter in it. I have 10 of the glitter, all different colors, and then 10 of the regular color ones. And they're small, you know. I also have more white, clear, and um, pink of these. And, you know, I want to use them. That's why all these are like that, because they were just testers and my boyfriend thought I was dumb for doing it, but it is what it is. Click that back in, take the bottom one out, and we'll get started soon. Um, this is all my, like, extra stuff. Like, decorate, decorative things. Um, I have wheels. I like this one because it's dried fruit and all kinds of stuff. And then my practice fingers in here. I have two of them. And my monomer dishes. So you can just put it in. And this is how you soak your nail if you need to soak your nail and take off the acrylic. So that's why I got that one. Um, so this is just basically my collection of stuff so far. I'm planning on getting a UV light so I can do UV gel nails and I'm planning on getting stiletto stuff um, in soon. Um, aquarium nails will be going on too. I can't wait for that. Um, I mean if you have any questions for anything else like what what do you need to start your own like your own set or anything just leave a comment below and I'll get back to it so um thanks for watching and have a great day guys all right bye